afternoon all. Now, I have a PWM5 solar charge controller, all cut up with its chip removed and an Arduino Pro Mini grafted on in its place. I also have a lead acid battery with a precision voltmeter on it, reading currently 12.7 volts. And blue tacked on is this potentiometer. I also have my scope. Now let me explain what I'm doing. As I turn the potentiometer, the pulse width on the PWM is increasing and decreasing. As I turn the potentiometer, the voltage on the battery is increasing. And that's because as the PWM pulse width increases, so more of my solar power is being fed through to the battery. Now I need to balance it. So I'm backing off now. Oh, I've overshot quite a lot. I need to balance it so that it sits there at 13.5. So there it is, 13.5. Oh, I've overshot again. Let's come back a bit. Tiny movements here. It's like flying an aeroplane. Let it drop back. There's 13.5. So, oh, undershot now. Increase it a bit. And I'm just trying to hold it there. So this is open loop. And I've closed the loop by using my own brain. I'm watching the voltage on the battery. And I'm making changes to the pulse width to try and hold that at... And there it is. No, oh, that's not bad. Oh, it's drifted up a bit now. To try and hold that at the desired voltage 13.5 volts. So I've effectively closed the loop. So what's all this about? Well this is the first step to getting an Arduino version of the PWM solar charge controller working. And in terms of the hardware, um, it is working and this is all it needs. Uh, this is the PWM5 circuit diagram so what I've done is I've cut out the PIC 12F683 and put the Arduino Pro Mini in its place. But otherwise the circuitry is identical. There's a, a voltage divider for measuring battery voltage, some power supply circuitry, the charge pump, the high side driver, and finally the MOSFET that does the switching. Now because I haven't yet closed the loop, the software is actually pretty uh, primitive. It's just, um, this is reading the pot on analog A0, dividing by four and writing the value back out to PWM pin nine, which I'm using to drive the MOSFET. And then all this setup stuff is for the charge pump to make sure that these two signals coming out of here are opposite phase to each other so that we get this voltage uh, adding process. So there it is, I'm turning the pot, I'm varying the pulse width, and the battery responds by increasing or decreasing its voltage. And then I try to fix that at my desired destination, 13.5. Let's uh, include the pot here. And you can get it, it's quite difficult. Of course the microcontroller will do this easily because it can think a lot quicker than I can. But that's not bad. So let me think of an analogy. Imagine a helium balloon where I'm controlling with the potentiometer the strength of the helium so that the balloon neither rises nor falls. But not only that, I also have to try and control the height of the balloon above the ground so that it's exactly halfway between the carpet and the ceiling. You know, I think I've got it. 13.498. So there are two things here. Not only must I stop it rising and stop it falling, I have to hold it at the exact level that I'm interested in. Not bad. So there we are. That's the uh, next stage of the Arduino PWM solar charge controller project. The next thing I need to do is close the loop.